Uh, no, I wouldn't. You guys would be in jail. If you said poo poo, I don't think so. <laughs> no. Poo poo. <laughs>
gimana cara? Just say Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Oh, yeah. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. Oh, look at all these fabulous people. Look at all these fabulous people. My name is David Eshel, one of your, our rabbis here at the Wilshire Boulevard Temple. I, yes. I, yeah. <laughs> you are in the front row. I'm in the front row. You're in the front row. Look at us, both in the front row. Can't even handle it. And who do we have with I'm, us? I'm also in the front row. I'm Cantor Shapiro. I'm so happy to be here. Shabbat Shalom. And we also have Rabbi Hannah Elkin, uh, who's also in the front row. Uh, we have an amazing front row of a sampling of our youth choir members here. We're so excited that they are going to be leading us in song this evening. And the key word is leading. They want you to sing along. So please, right, guys? Yeah? Uh, so please join them. And, um, and we have our wonderful musicians this evening. So happy to have Ian Simpson, our song leader on guitar and vocals. And we have Brock Pollock on the bass, Ava Nahas on percussion. And we have Susan Rosenstein, our music director, on the keys. And uh, we're all here to lift our voices lift our spirits, uh, which we need so greatly. And Shabbat Shalom, it's so good to be together. Hine Mato, page 10. Welcome to everyone who is physically here with us tonight, but also anyone who is joining us over live stream. We are so happy to be with you in your home, your living room, wherever we are beaming in tonight. Hello. So, there's so many rabbis up here in the front row. It's crazy. Only at synagogue can you see this many rabbis for so little cost. So... <laughs> We'll continue with our service with Shalom Aleichem, which is this beautiful Shabbat song that talks about the angels that come to visit us during Shabbat. Just in this 25-hour window, we have these angels that come. And as we say in the Hebrew, we say, Boachem l'shalom, they come in peace. Baruchuni l'shalom, they bless in peace. Seitchem l'shalom, they go out in peace. So they come, they bless, they leave. And this is really the essence of what Shabbat is all about. It comes, it goes, it's this tiny little window. But while it's here, it's a time for blessing. It's a time for filling it with sacred moments, sacred conversations, the people we love most in the world. So as we celebrate this Shabbat tonight, why don't we take the time to fill this little window in time with as much blessing, as much holiness, as much wonderful things that we need after a long week together. 
And for our small, we have a lot of small people here tonight. For so, so for our small people, something we like to do sometimes in our schools when we sing Shalom Aleichem is we take our hands. I'm going to have to put my microphone down because I'm going to use both of them. And we do this. Can you try this with me? So we can make a symbol that looks kind of like maybe... I don't know what an angel looks like because I've never seen one. But maybe what an angel would look like because this song is about angels coming and blessing us. So if you could make the symbol of the angels while the youth choir sings with me and feel free to join us in singing too. Shalom Aleichem Shalom because it's Shabbat. This evening is special because it's celebration Shabbat, and I know that so many of you are here to celebrate something special with us. We're going to have that happen a little bit later. We're also celebrating um, something very special this evening, and I'd like to call upon Alice Milken and her family to join us. Uh, as we light the Shabbat candles. She deserves every bit of that applause because she is becoming a bat mitzvah tomorrow. And, um, and you know what's amazing about being Jewish, uh, Alice, is that you know there are probably a bunch of people, I know there are a bunch of people here who you do know. Of course they're all proud of you. But there's also a bunch of other people here who you haven't even met yet and they're still proud of you. <laughs> so one of the great things about being Jewish, uh, we get to feel really proud for our community as they take their place. So Alice, if you would light the candles for us this evening, and we'll join together in the blessing. And um, for those of us here, as Alice lights those candles, you can go ahead. light into our own realms as we join together in the blessing. Thank you and Mazel Tov.
She'll be back. She's going to lead us in some prayers later. We're going to continue with Lecha Dodi, page 20.
We're going to continue. I'm going to ask you to have a seat. The youth choir has a really special uh, interpretation of the words Ahavat Olam, which you can find on page 32. Uh, we're going to be singing in Hebrew. We're going to be singing in English. We're going to be singing in French. Um, but it's all about something we need so much in our world today. It's all about love. And uh, small people and even the big people, if you want, you can make a heart symbol for Ahavat Olam. Page 34, we'll find Shema, and then on page 36, we'll turn to the Ahavta. And I'm feeling in this moment that maybe with all the, all the commotion, all the movement in the world around us and all this, it sort of draws us back to what Shema is all about, which is just feeling centered, feeling one, feeling whole, feeling at peace. So we will pray Shema together on page 34 they have to on the following Shema my honor to call Alice to join us up at the podium, and she will be leading us on, in Vea Havta on page 36. Vea Havta et Adonai Eloeha Behol of Apa Upol Nasheha Upon me, O Deha, Behayu, 
Hadvarim Haela Asher Anahi Metaveha Hayom Aleva Veha Veshinantan Vaneha Vezibartam Bam Veshifteha Veveteha Ubelekteha Vaderek Ubshok Veha Ubkumeha Ubshartam Leo Ayadeha Vehailo Totafo Bene Neha Ubtaktam Amizzo Beteha Udvi Shareha Leman Tiskeru Vasitem Ekomis Votai Vitem Kedoshim Leloehem Ani Adonai Lehem Asher Hotseti Ehem Me'eret Mitzrayim Liot Lahem Leloehim Ani Adonai Lehem We'll continue on page 40. Micha Mocha. Hashkivenu is our prayer that we say at night. It's a little bit like uh, a lullaby. It's meant to give us a feeling of comfort and protection when it gets dark and maybe we're little kids, maybe we're big kids, but it can be a little scary at night when we're not sure what's around the corner or under the bed. So we pray Hashkivenu asking for a shelter of peace, a shelter of protection and comfort. And so before we pray this, this prayer together on page 42, I just want us to pause for a moment tonight and just ask ourselves. We're surrounded in a room, many of us by some of the people we care about most in the world. Maybe we'll put our arms around them, spread a little shelter of peace over them. But then who else can we, can we bring to mind that we would like to spread a little shelter of peace over tonight? 
We could think of anyone in the world who we might want to give a little extra peace, a little extra protection. Who might that be? And we can just hold that in our minds and our hearts together for a moment. Right, so we're going to continue now on page 46, and we're going to continue on page 46 with the Amidah, our standing prayer. Uh, and Alice, you're going to come back on up here and lead us. What do you think about that? I know. It's going to be fabulous, though. Come on up. Here we go. For the rest of us, I invite us to please rise. We're on page 46. Adonai sefer taitaf ufi ya gita hilata ha varu ha ta Adonai Eloheinu velohe avotenu veimutenu Elohe Abraham Elohe Yitzchak Elohe Yaakov Elohe Sara Elohe Rivka Elohe Rahel ve Elohe Lea Ha El Hagado Hagibor ve Hanora El El Yom Gomel Hasadim Tovim ve Kone Hako ve Zoher Hase Avot ve Imahot Ume Vige Ula Libne Vnehem Leman Shemo ve Ahava Mele Hoser Umashia Umagain Varu Hata Adonai Magain Avraham Vedra Sara Atagi Bole Olam Adonai Mehaye Hakolata Rave Oshia Mashi Haruach Umorid Hagashem Mehakel Hayim Behesed, Mehayel Hakol Verahamim Rabbi, Sohomech no Flim Verofe Holim, Umatir Asurim, Umekayem Emunato, 
We now remain standing and continue through page 62, and we'll remain standing until the ark is closed. All right. Shabbat shalom, everyone. Shabbat shalom. All right. So this is very exciting. We are like this point in the Torah. This is like this is what is all leading up to. Everything that has happened up until this point is leading to this point. You all know the story. You just might not realize that this is where we are in the Torah portion right now. We are. It, Alice, where are we in the Torah? Do you know where we are in the Torah right now? What you talking about in your Torah portion? What's going on? Oh, yes, okay, here we go. She said it was splitting the sea. So we are in, just a couple weeks ago, right, we're introduced, we are introduced to Moses, and we're like, oh, Moses in the basket, oh, and a Pharaoh's daughter, and all that kind of stuff. And then Moses grows up, and Moses takes off, and he leaves, oh, my goodness, burning bush, oh, my goodness, my, my people are slaves, we got to get them out of here, right? So last week, we were at the part where we were like, oh, Moses says to go because of Pharaoh, hey, let my people go. He says, no, I'm not going to let them go. And Moses says, yes. And Pharaoh says, no. And Moses says, yes. And Pharaoh says, no. And Moses says, yes. And Pharaoh says, no. Right? So last week, seven times that happened. This week, two. And the last week of the plague. Uh, let them go. No. Let them go. No. Let them go. Fine. Leave. I don't care anymore. So... Moses tells the Israelite people, we're out of here. This is going to be fabulous. We're going to the promised land, but we need to get ourselves together quick in case Pharaoh changes his mind, right? Because Pharaoh, so he's like, great, let's go. So they're quickly getting everything together. Quick, let's pack. Let's get our stuff together. Let's put the dough on our backs. Don't worry. Nothing's going to happen to the dough. I'm sure it's going to rise. It's not going to be a factor. It's going to be fine. But it didn't, right? So we got that. So they put it in there. They're like, quick, let's get out of here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Except there was this one dude named Shlomo who was like, ah, oh, so fast. I don't know what to think. Really, we're going to leave now, but all right, fine. So he's like packing up his stuff. Everybody else is very excited. And then they start making their way. And they go, quick, right? Sure enough, what happens? Pharaoh changes his mind. Like, oh! Labor. So he gets his, his chariots and his, his uh, soldiers together, and they go chasing after the Israelite people. 
Here they go, right? They're like, oh, no. They're running as fast as they can. Here comes Pharaoh's army. And then Shlomo's like, I knew it. Um, they got up on the back. Look at Mark. So everybody's like, oh, no, we're going to do. And they get to, what did you ask them to get The parting of the sea. Right? So they get to the edge of the water. And they're like, oh, no. Here comes Pharaoh's army. And they're like, we're here. We need to get there. We need to get there, but we are here. And they're like, Moses, help us out of something. Do something. So what does Moses do? Moses goes fast, right? How about a little help? Right? Ask the shepherd a little help. And then all of a sudden, the sea parts. The sea parts. And then what happens? The people part. To walk across, right? And they're like, Everybody is talking. They're like, did you see that? That was amazing. Did you, could you believe the walls of water, all the colors? That was amazing. That was fabulous. That was fantastic. I can't even believe it. And Shlomo was like, huh? What are you guys talking about? I didn't see any of that. I don't know nothing. All I saw was mud, rocks. I'm tired and I'm sweaty and I'm funky. I don't know what you all are talking about. All I saw was It was right there in front of his face. A miracle. The awe, wonder, blessing, right there in front of his face. Misty. Watch. Like slow mo in that I'm able to give you to my people. I know.
We're going to take some time now. Especially after what we just discussed. To think about those in our lives who may be in need of healing right now. Whether that's mental healing, spiritual healing, or physical healing. So if you are thinking of anyone and anywhere... I invite you to say those names now in your hearts, and we also bring to mind all of our family in Israel who are also in need of healing. So with that. It's a really special pleasure for me tonight to invite my friend to join me. My friend happens also to be a rabbi and a cantor, Gershon Sillins, who is visiting us from London, England. So if you ever find yourself there, you can visit his congregation and find him there. But he's going to help us bring uh, something extra to our healing prayer this evening. We're very lucky to have him join our kahal. So we're going to continue with the Misha Berach prayer for healing. We'll be in the middle of page 253. As we are thinking about blessings on this celebration Shabbat, we are here to celebrate so many of you who are here. So we'd like to invite up anyone who has a birthday, an anniversary, a... Anything, anything. you want to celebrate over this last month that you just feel so fabulous. You passed a driver's high. test. You passed an eye test. We got a coming up. And we sent out an invitation for actually both December and January because we didn't have Celebration Shabbat in January. So anyone for December and January, amazing. All right, why don't we, for the, all right, what are we, tell us please, what are we celebrating? Bar Mitzvah? Bar Mitzvah, thank you. It's my 16th birthday. 
Mazel, Mazel, Mazel Tov. You're Mazel looking tov. great. Your, your parents are going to get you a car for your birthday, hopefully. No. Yes. Birthday. Are you celebrating something? A birthday? Birthday. How old are you turning? A sixth birthday. Wow. That's exciting. My birthday was a couple of weeks ago. Happy. January 2nd. Happy birthday. And? It's my birthday. My birthday was January 4th. Mazel tov. Happy birthday. So wonderful to celebrate with you all. Great. So, do you want to come? It's cute. So, Rabbi Eshel and I will give you a little bit of a blessing, and then we will offer the priestly benediction, which is the oldest blessing in our, in our tradition. But for this upcoming year, may it be a year of growth, of learning, of blessings, of fun, of joy, excitement, all the wonderful things that you hope to fill this year with. May it all come to be. Amen. What she said. May God bless you and keep you. May God always shine upon you and be kind to you. May God's presence always be with you and walk with you and bring you peace. And together we will all say, Amen. Mazel tov. Mazel tov, everyone. Simantov, Mazel tov, Mazel tov, Simantov, Simantov, Mazel tov, Mazel tov, Simantov, Simantov, Mazel tov, Mazel tov, Simantov, yeah. We have some announcements for just some things that are going to be coming up in the next in the next couple of weeks. Let's see. We have the uh, tomorrow uh, Sunday. What day is today? Uh, the next Jewish Food Lab event, Southern Jewish Food, with chef and author Michael Twitty, moderated conversation by Diane Worthington, which is going to be at the Glazer campus. It's supposed to be amazing. The food is supposed to be amazing. We still have spaces available if you would like to RSVP to that. Also, please join us next Friday night for a very special Shabbat for the installation of our new senior cantor, Lisa Peacott, that will be at the Glazer campus for a really special service, beautiful music, beautiful honoring for this amazing cantor who is going to be officially installed in her senior capacity. Um, uh, another plug as well, for many of us, our connection to Wilshire Boulevard Temple has been life-changing. We recognize that this is in no small part due to the leadership, vision, and humility of Rabbi Steve Leader, a vision, a visionary that we have been fortunate to, that we have been fortunate to serve our community <laughs> as rabbi for the past almost 40 years. While this is not goodbye, Rabbi Leader will be retiring from his role as senior rabbi in 2024. Join us as we honor and celebrate his legacy on Sunday, May 19th at the Glazer campus. Uh, you can visit the website for the gala for more information and to register if you would like to attend. I believe that that is all. Are there any announcements? Yeah, we got one more. Last but not least, Alice, how you feeling? Good, she's feeling Yay. good, fantastic. Alice, mazel tov to you. Tomorrow, Alice is going to be called to the Torah as a bat mitzvah. I've just heard fabulous things. I can't wait to hear about it afterwards. It's going to be wonderful. Mazel tov to you and your beautiful family. Mazel, mazel, mazel. Mazel tov.
Mazel tov. There's, uh, there's also a hike on... Um, oh, there is. Yes, there's a Tu Bishvat hike on Sunday. If you haven't signed up, it's fine. We're just meeting at Will Rogers uh, State Park across from the polo fields. There, we have like over almost 60 people signed up for the hike. We're going rain or shine, so rain if you if you enjoy shine. being outdoors, join us. I will be bringing some yummy dried fruits. You going, Maddie? And, oh, Maddie's uh, coming. Thanks, we'll have a great wait. time. Maddie's yeah. coming. Excellent. Maddie's and I want to see you in those heels on the trail. <laughs> in the rain. In the yeah, in the heels in the rain on the trail. Only only for the really uh, strong apart. So, um, Rabbi. Yes. Uh, so. We, for our little people for whom uh, it might be hard for them to sit still during uh, Kaddish Yatom, during our mourner's Kaddish, uh, you can follow your Pied Piper. Rabbi Eshel uh, will take you outside um, to do uh, Kiddush and Motzi now. Uh, you can have some sweet treats <clears throat> out there. And, oh, and you know what? We'll bring, for those of you who celebrated uh, something, we, ha we have our candy bars here. We forgot to give them to you up at the Bima, so we'll bring them outside. Uh, Rabbi, I know. It's a, I know. I should, I should have told them then. So you can follow Rabbi Eshel outside um, uh, as we continue our service. As we gather together to celebrate during Shabbat, we also take this time to remember the people who may, meant so much to us in our lives but are no longer with us. So we will mark as a community, if there is anyone who is marking a, uh, uh, the first week since a loved one has passed, or the first month, Shloshim, since a loved one has passed, I'll invite you to please rise. And anyone who is marking um, a passing in the last year. Anyone who is marking a yard site of a loved one as well. As a congregational community, we remember the passing in the last month of Cynthia, Cynthia Adder, uh, Ohad Ashur, May Bendit, Nadav Izahar Farhi. Bruce Jacobson, Naomi Mallon, Edward Meltzer Jr., John Menzies, Marsha Arnold, Mar Marsha Arnold Netzer, Arthur Schwimmer, Lee Jacob Silver, Gloria Strasberger, Jacqueline Tenzer. We also mark the yard site in our community of Irving K. Abram Abramsky, Bertha Adeshek, Miriam Adler, Toby Alex, Steve. Astrakhan, Vanny Ball, Charles Benjamin, Philip Bennett, Araj Berliani, Norman Berkowitz, Steve Berman, Victor Berman, John Brewer, Morris Brooks, Hel Helen Cachado, Joseph Cadden, Michael Chiat, Morris Clamon, Carol Cohen, Barbara June Cohen, Jerome Disner, Joseph Dresser, Jan Daniel Dorsky, Elaine Edelstein, Rose and Antorno, Esther Fischler, Robert Joseph Flicker, Yetta Frankel, Fanny Reiselben, Robert Freed, Regina Friedman, Robert Friedman, Robert Garber, Herman Garden, Garden Mindy Garvey, Aubrey Glaser, Martin Glotzer, Martin Glotzer, Marvin Green, Roberto Grimberg, Edward Gurney, Richard Halligan, Alvin Hamburger, John Harris, Margaret Hartnett, Jack Hirsch, Harold Hoffenberg, Myrna Horn, Robert John Ermis, Jerry Jacobson, Gertrude Kaplan, Orna Kaplan, Judith Kapoor, Amaran Carney, Louis Katz, Howard Kaufman, Marion Kapolov, Carol Beth Korn, Sarah Kraut, George Kurtz, Alfred Kuszynski, 
Louis Leon, Shirley Levitt, Samuel Levy, Milton Mallon, Theodore Mann, John Marion, Becky Miner, Erwin Michelson, Yvette Mimu, Stephen Negre Negrea, Machiko Nickerson, Hetty Orden, Mata Einhor Einhorn Pearl, Bernard Flug, Alice Pollitt, Hinda Porter, Rona Bierman Pullman, Lillian Rappaport, Ella Reese, Harry Rex, Patricia Oppenheim Levin Rice, Samuel Rohde, Irving Rodner, Regina Ross, Margot Rothstein, Rolla Rubin, Judy Rudman, Javier Salinas, Sharon Schechter, Stuart Schlig, Sally Schlossberg, Billy Schwab, Henry Seidman, Lillian Shamist, Ella Sherman, Erwin Schreier, Jeanette Snyder, David Sobel, Leroy Solomon, Regina Solomon, Raymond Stanley Spiro, Marilyn Sprung, Bruce Stark, Jerome Steyer, Erwin Stein, Tamara, Tamara Stolyarski, Hayward Tamkin, Barbara Taub, Audrey Traeger, Stephen Tolkien, Marion Burton, Adele Weinstein, Magda Weiss, Burton Wolner, Dina Yarmus, Ernest Zeilberger. If there's any other names that you would like to share, if I mispronounce the name of a loved one, please share their names out loud or in your hearts with the community. We'll turn to Mourner's Kaddish on page 294 and rise. We also remember all those who have died protecting the state of Israel and in terror attacks around the world. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei raba ve'alma divrachu te v'amlich malchu te v'chayachon u'v'yomechon u'v'chaye d'chol beit Yisrael v'agala u'v'zman kari v'imru amen. Yehe Shme Raba Mevarach Leolam Ualme Almaya Yit Barach Vishtabach Viet Paar Viet Ramam Viet Nase Viet Hadar Viet Ale Viet Alal Shmeid Kudusha Brihu Leela Minko Birchata Vishirata Tush Bechata Venechemata Dam Yiran Belma Vimru Amen Yehe Shlama Raba Min Shemaya Bechaim Alenu Vel Kol Yisrael Vimru Amen. O se shalom Vimroma, Hu ya ase shalom Alenu Vel Kol Yisrael Vimru Amen.
will invite up the Bat Mitzvah family one more time for a little Motzi and kid uh, Kiddish. Yes, Kiddish. And Motzi. For the rest of us, uh, you can please join in Kiddush, I believe it's page five. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Shabbat Thank you. 
Thank you.